Vivian Cameron, welcome to Profile. Thank you very much for having me, sir. So we have quite an extraordinary journey here. We're going to be talking about a lot of it. A yeah. well-established St. Elizabeth businessman. At different points in your, in your life, in your career, I would say, a chemist, a farmer, including peanut, cattle, overall farming, yes. a haulage contractor, a teacher, certainly of agriculture, yes. um, a founding member of the Kiwanis, or we call a charter member of the Kiwanis Club of Santa Cruz, and a overall a philanthropist, as well as a, a justice of the peace. That's right. And um, so when you look back at all of these kinds of different things you have done in your life, how do you feel? Well, I, as I said, it, it, was, it seems very challenging, um, very exciting, and it has been very rewarding. Um, I am the person who believe and have a lot of respect for time. So what I do, I try and do it as early as possible. Let's, let's talk a little bit about how, where that comes from. Um, because you grew up in St. Elizabeth as well, a place called Bailey Ground. That's right. Let's talk a little bit about the people who raised you. Yes, my father was a farmer. And of course, we had to assist in the farming. We had to get up early in the mornings, do our chores, and then walk two and a half miles to school. That's in middle quarters. Um, leaving school at the age 15 and didn't do well academically at all, I realized that I would have to go out there and work real hard and that I was prepared to do. So I, the first job I got was at Holland Sugar Factory in the lab as a, as a um, sampler. A sampler, we would go out in the factory, collect the samples, bring it into the lab, prepare it for analysis. After working there for four months, I was promoted to assistant bench chemist. The crop lasted six months each year. The second year I went back, there was a vacancy for a bench chemist, and I was promoted to bench chemist. It was there that I realized that I'm not really that <laughs> backward, so to speak. You can learn things. I can so. learn. I would be maybe uh, call myself one of those late bloomers. After working at Holland, um, I got a job with a company from Holland by the name of Grunt Middebilt, and they were doing prospecting for the drainage of the swamps in St. Elizabeth, all down in that middle quarters, Black River area there. It was a temporary job, and of course, after a while, it was finished, but they kept me on there longer. Even after they have sent home the other guys, they kept me on there. Um, then I got a job with Reynolds Metals Company over in St. Ann. That is a part of Reynolds Jamaica Mines. Reynolds Jamaica Mines was the mother company. Yes. And then Reynolds Metals Company was the other part of it there. I worked there and after about two years, they had sent the guys who they are employing now, like for instance, JC, Jamaica School of Agriculture, Dint Hill and other schools for me to train them. Now, I have not had any form of secondary or tertiary um, education at all. But in a short space of time, you've already gone through a number of different careers and learned a number of different kind of skills. That's right. And this kind of paved the way for you when you left that company to go on to set up your own. Yeah. Um, in haulage contracting, um, you saw an opportunity. What was that opportunity? Well, while working at um, Revere doing the haulage, um, It started slowing down. The, uh, the, the building, uh, the, the factory was almost completed. And then a friend of mine and I decided that we need to find work for our trucks. Um, so we need to find a need and then to find a way to supply that need. So we look around and decided, yes, there's a need for a block making establishment there. 
and we set up a block factory, small, started small, um, and then we registered the company. His name was Richards and I am Cameron. So to come up with a name for the company, we took the first three letters from my name and the three from his, and we, it was C-A-M-R-I-C, Camrick Limited. Yes. Um, all, all of this was happening though against the context, um, the background of personal challenges you were having at the same time. Oh yes, my, I... Because now you're in your early late twenties. Yes. Late twenties, you already have a family, six oh, children. Six children. Married, you're starting a new business. Yes. And the context of the new business is that your house has just burned to the ground. Yes. And I was challenged now to rebuild that house, build back that house. Well, I did. And um, when it was finished, a gentleman came to me one day and said he liked the way the house looks and he watched it while it was being built. And he needed to have his house done in um, mountainside if I would take the job. And I said, sure I would. So I got the first contract there. So we've gone through chemists so far. This is between 16, um, 16 and 28. Yes. So chemist, farmer. Yes. Um, haulage haulage contractor, contractor. And now you're into construction yes. in the space of what is that? That's like 12 years. Yes. Just a yes. whole year of Yes. How were you managing just changing, changing, changing? Weren't you, you know, you know, concerned, challenged? Was, was well, it a we big were, problem? I was challenged by it. And um, I, I, I'm never afraid of challenges. And it's like one thing lead to another. A truck. We had to provide work for it, so there came up the block making business. Then my house was burnt down, challenged me to build it back, get a job to start a house for somebody, to build a house for somebody. And then it went on, the construction did well. One of my big job was with a rice um, farming company, Bromdeck. And the, the first job I got from them was to build a shed to wash the tractors and all like that. But I had to tender on these jobs. I send out tenders to big man arm um, construction companies. I entered in it and won the, 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 the contract. And that was just one of you know many contracts that you would have over That's time. That's right. Further on, there were fixing up an old rice mill there. And I got the job as well, tend on it and got it as well. I, I want to talk a, a little bit about these jobs and the challenges that they presented and, over, and how you overcame them. But we have to go to the break. My guest is well-established St. Elizabeth businessman. He was a chemist, a farmer, haulage contractor, teacher, founding member of the Kiwanis Club of Santa Cruz, Vivian Cameron, and we're back with you on the other side of these messages. Stick around. <laughs> 